Hey guys, what's up? It's your homegirl Sunuk and yeah, today I am with Sarola and I just want to welcome her to my channel. Yeah, finally I am here doing a creative talks and this is, I don't know what, one, two, three, four, I think this is episode number five. Oh. I'm gonna put all the links below so make sure you click the previous creative talks and yeah, today I'm gonna talk about what Sarola does the best. Before we start this procedure, she's gonna introduce herself. So yeah, um, I don't know what to say about myself. Basically, my name is Sarah Lampa, and uh, I've been living in England since 2003. And I love Nepal, as you can see from so many of my videos. I love going back to Nepal and um, doing as much as I can to contribute to Nepal. I want to thank this lady so much today for coming over here with me and taking her spare time and you know just sitting with me and doing this interview. I know my quality is not that great but I am working for that and I'm very passionate to make this channel grow and I have got the questions over here for Sorola so that I don't forget. I've got all together 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 questions only. <laughs> what to ask you know and I asked my followers friends in Instagram Facebook what questions you had for her and some I think I only got one question so and even she asked her friends uh, in Facebook and Instagram questions and she has got lots of questions so we're gonna talk about that questions up at the end of my questions my first uh, question was it's already been told it's introduce yourself and she has already introduced herself. So my second question is when did you first host Christ? When did you first host an MC? Is it called MC, isn't it? Well when did you hosting an MC? Yeah. Um, I started from a very young age. Uh, it was when I first did my official kind of thing, I was about 14 or 15. That was my first one, but then I was interested in hosting an MC very young age. I was lucky that my mum encouraged me. So, um, so yeah, I would say first time I was 14, 15 and I started off doing school events like school programs, awards functions and my first main uh, Nepalese event was... Uh, I think I remember that. Do you? Yeah, I think. I think no, it's not that. It's, it's not, not that. that. Yeah, no. <laughs> I know what you mean. No, 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 it's not that. Everyone I, I so hard. I, <laughs> when I first, I am not that person. Okay. <laughs> when I first put like the table one, they even more, which is you were interviewing that guy. Ram that Ram Ram Ram. Oh. That's so, totally that's yeah, really yeah. <laughs> That's how I knew her at the first. Are you not going to ask me that question? How did you hold your laughter? <laughs> how did you get it? Yeah, hold your laughter? Oh, I don't. Know. <laughs> oh my God! Like this oh, 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 I'm not a big fan of Ram Ram. I saw you over there and I thought immediately But well, you were there? Oh no, no, that came out like you took my video Sorry, I'm speaking Nepali because <laughs> Yeah, I saw her in that event and immediately when I saw her I was like, oh my god, this woman is so confident Just <laughs> like that And, and after a long time, you know, I do real Things went past and in 2012 we got con connected but it was, you know, we were about to meet up but it didn't work out. It didn't work out. So Finally, here yeah. we are in 2016. And I'm so happy. So yeah, you were talking about your event. Yeah, that's how I started hosting and then after that I used to volunteer to host because I was needing to practice but even now I am not professionally trained so there's so many things that I need to learn and improve on but uh, with every event I do I am hoping to improve and progress. Okay so my third question, how do you have so much confidence human? <laughs> I think it comes across as me being confident but obviously I've got my flaws and obviously I've got my insecurities but it all comes down to being around positive people and luckily I've always been around positive people mainly there are there have been people criticizing me negative people but I normally try to ignore them and um, growing up I've always been around positive people who've always supported um, encouraged me complimented me I don't know if the compliments were genuine but it has helped me a lot to love myself mm -hmm. 
So I think confidence comes from within, loving yourself and accepting who you are. And I think over the years I've learned to do that. And there are obviously a few insecurities and flaws that obviously bug me, but I am working on improving that as well. Oh, darling. But you know what? I'm confident itself, but she's like confident and very professional as well. <laughs> If you think so, please comment down below. But on stage, if you're talking about how am I confident on stage, then I try to prepare myself, I try to know what I'm talking about, um, I do my research, uh, and then it's practice. Oh, okay, practice. Okay, that's the main thing. Number four is, is your parents supportive? Yes, they are very supportive. Okay. I, I don't think if my mum and dad weren't supportive, I don't think I would be here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, in my third question, she already answered that her mom pushed her to do MCs and all, and that's how she My went. fifth question is, you have done lots of charity events, charity walks and all, you know, uh, what inspired you to do that? Uh, I would have to say my mom, as cliche as this sounds, it has been my mom, because my mom's always told me, um, you should help a person if that's within your reach, and I don't think I've done anything that's out of my reach, I've done everything that's with, within my reach mm -hmm. and everyone does charity mm -hmm. work in their own kind of way. Mm -hmm. For me, if it's just reaching out to my audience and trying to get the support in, that's my way of doing it. But other people, they volunteer, they uh, fundraise, they donate, so there yeah. are different ways of doing it. For, for me, I think initially it was my mum. Okay, how old were you when you did your first charity event or any funds? Uh, from a very young age, I've seen my mum like donating things to other people. Seeing your clothes, that's yeah. I call, I regard that as charity mm -hmm. work, and it's something that I can do. It's not something yeah. that I'm not within my reach. So, yeah. from a very little age, that uh, we've been encouraged to give when we can give. Yeah, that's that's really good. And you know, I always encourage my subscriber, my viewers as well, like stop buying too much. You know, wear more and buy less because you know you. Uh, you know the things you don't wear you mm -hmm. just donate them and give to someone who needs help and I think you are a very inspiring lady again. Number six question is what was your biggest charity work or fund you raised so far? Uh, I don't know biggest charity work uh, I don't know if I can choose because everything I have done it's something meaningful and um, something I've been affected, something that's touched me the issue or um, the issue or what the, whatever the situation was, it has touched me and that's why I've felt the need to do something about it. So I, I cannot select one and say this has been my biggest charity work but I've just been lucky because people have been really supportive and trustworthy and people have trusted me to do um, donate their money and to make sure that money reaches the yeah. victims. So I think I've just been lucky and uh, people have just been very supportive. So I just want to say thank you to everyone. Oh, yeah. she's a very amazing woman. I think your latest um, charity event was the Earth yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think you posted some documentary. Um, I did like a picture. vlog. I tried to do yeah. a vlog. My, um, when I went back to Nepal in May uh, after the earthquake, um, I tried to document everything that I did, but it didn't pan out as I yeah. thought it would. Because I didn't want to waste my money to hire a professional person to document everything. I could have done that. I could have got a media person to come with me, but I didn't do that. And I was also invited in like to do like interviews and stuff, but I didn't want it at that time because it felt like I was doing it for PR, but I seriously wasn't. So whatever footages that we have collected, I've like created like a vlog kind of thing, which is on my YouTube channel. Yes. So you can go and check that out. It's about 20 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> 20 minutes long. It's all right. You can spare 20 minutes of your time to show her as this genuine person. So yeah, please support her. So number seven is what is your plan? Where do you see yourself in 10 years time? Uh, that question, mm, I actually don't know. Like wherever I am in 20, 10 or 20 years time, wherever, I want to be happy. At the end of the life, uh, I think we should all be happy and satisfied. So wherever I am, where, whatever I am doing, I want to be happy. Yeah, happiness is one of the main uh, key, key, what do you say? Key life. purpose of life. <laughs> Whenever I try to speak English, it's stay with again. <laughs> okay, last but not the least, this is all my question, right? Eh? Number eight question is, what would you like to say to my subscribers? 
Firstly, I want to say thank you to you Aww. because um, I've watched your videos and I've seen your updates and you've always been so positive and lovely and I think that's kind of, that positive energy kind of like um, spreads to other people as well so that's very good and keep doing what you're doing. I think you're doing really well. You have subscribers, keep watching her and it's, she said it before and that she's going to link my name. Inspiring and doing what you love, and, uh, and also love yourself. Oh, so, so far, that's all my questions. Now I would like to see my Instagram. Your Instagram, I have questions again. Go in my Instagram. I'm so sorry. <laughs> there is no. Oh, okay. There is, okay. In my Insta by the way, there is no service over here, right? But I know what is the question. Uh, the question was from Roju. Uh, she asked that she wants to be volunteered. How do you get hands? Uh, I think you know the question because um, you have read How do you volunteer yeah. and how you get involved in volunteering? Like I said, charity work doesn't have to be something big. You don't have to go to Nepal to do charity work. You can start from home. You can go volunteer at your local church. You can go volunteer at a local shelter. Um, you can donate your clothes. So there's yeah. so many ways of getting involved. It just you got to step up and do it. But I'm sure you'll find your own way. And if you do need any help or if you do any more you can always reach out to me on my Facebook and I'm happy to answer any questions. To be honest, she's very genuine. If you talk to her, she will talk to her. I mean, she will talk to you. She's not like mm -hmm. some snotty kind of guy. Really. Oh, I'm just like that. Uh, 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 That's so genuine. Talk to her. asking you in uh, your Instagram. I don't know if I want to answer. Okay, pick the ones you want to answer. Um, why are you so cute? I was born this way. Oh. <laughs> How was it like growing up in England? So I came to England when I was seven? No, no, eight. <gasps> really? That's why your English is so good? No, it's not. Oh, I love her English. Uh, I think I came here when I was eight. So uh, when I was in school, I was the only Bali girl in my classroom. So I didn't have any problems with like racism or people being mean to me but when I went to secondary school that's when I actually mm -hmm. realised oh actually people are mean to Nepalese people, mm -hmm. um, people do say like nasty things and stuff like that uh, but I would always believed in like sticking out for myself so my mum would all the time say to me like if someone's saying something to you you gotta have to stick up for yourself so yeah. I've never really, yeah, growing up in England I don't know, it's always been good, but I think I've kind of missed out on Nepali life oh, and living yes. out in Nepal. And whenever I see certain foods, I'm just like, I don't know. No. But I try to make the most of it by now going to Nepal every year or every oh. two, three years. So, yeah. Is there any other question? Um, I don't know, it's not loading. I've not got any 3Z, 4G. Okay, so there, unfortunately there is no network where we are sitting over here, so due to... I will us. answer then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, someone's asked me if I've got any crush. Um, I don't think I want to say that here. <laughs> <laughs> I know how crush you told me earlier. <laughs> Actually, um, Salman Khan has always been my favourite crush. <laughs> so she was big boss, I think. I watch Big Boss only on Saturdays and Sundays because Summer Khan is on all. Oh. Oh. Anyway, guys, um, I'm gonna wrap this video up because we she's getting late because she's got her event right now. So I would like to say her thank you, like a big, big, big thank you for you know doing this interview with me. And I don't know what what would you like to say. I've already said um, subscribe to her channel, keep watching her, keep smiling, and love yourself. Yes. That's a very important one. So yeah, guys, that's a wrap, guys. And thank you so much, Sarah. Thank okay. you. Bye. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Also, if you want to see my previous creative talks, then please click the box in here. For Nitikas, click in Nitikas face. For Kusbu, click in the middle one, fashion blogger. And for Whitney, click in the Whitney's face. All right, guys. And if you want more of this kind of creative videos in the future, then please thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel for more. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.
Hold on, don't go yet, don't go yet. I forgot to mention if you are watching this video from your mobile or your iPads, uh, please uh, click in my description box for more because the links gonna not work in your mobile or tablet. Okay, so you can go now. Goodbye! <laughs>